stand to say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Everybody read the previous minutes? Yes. Yes. All right. Here, motion to approve them. Make a motion to approve last one's minutes. Second. Motion made and seconded. All in favor? Are you going to end the regular meeting and open yes. the budget adoption meeting? I want to close our regular town board meeting and open the budget adoption meeting. Trina. And that is just everything that I read last month is exactly the same. So I just need a motion to approve it, to adopt it, and a second and a vote. Here I have a motion. I'll make a motion to approve the 2024 2024 adoption budget meeting or budget. 2024 budget 2024 budget there you go right here a second a second all in favor aye aye <coughs> i'll close the budget adoption meeting and reopen the town board meeting uh, the sensor Quote. Yes, that is, if you want to look at it, that's about 20% less than what we pay with Corson now. I talked to Rick today about the fire extinguishers. He said that we own those, so they're ours. They'll just stay where they are. They'll just take over servicing them because Shane had asked about whether we would get to keep them or if they were Corson's or... That was the only question he had about it. Yeah. And the guy also said that one of my fobs has quit working. He said that they'll replace those with no for no charge. And Corson charged me quite a bit of money for two new fobs last two a year and a half ago. And one of them's already quit working. And then they said they'll replace that keypad on the wall with no for no charge either. So when will that take effect? I'll if you guys approve. Um, to accept their quote, then I'll call Rick tomorrow and to at, find out what we need to do as far as ending our service with Corson and starting with Sensor. What do we pay for it then? I didn't get the time to write the actual numbers down. I just did a quick figure when I first got that. but. As crazy as the last two days has been, I didn't get a chance to actually write the what they charge us quarterly. I just know that it's about 20% less than what Corson charges us. Per quarter? Quarterly is what we, yeah. what we pay Corson. Yeah, and then the annual fire, uh, the sprinkler system, the fire extinguishers, um, the smoke alarms, they come and inspect those yearly, and then we have a quarterly bill that we pay for the service. And they're local to where Corson has closed their local offices and they're, they, they don't have a local office anymore. Really? Hmm. <clears throat> that guy covered the cameras too? Is it, is he monitored the cameras? We've purchased all the cameras that we have so they're ours. It would take over everything. Yep. Too bad we couldn't get some free cameras out of them. <laughs> Thank you. Do I hear a motion on that? Or? I'll make a motion to make the switch to sensor. Do I hear a second? I'll second it. All approved. Aye. 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 <clears throat> Silver Smith quote for tablets. He didn't get the email sent to me yet, so you're gonna have to table it. Table that till next month. I'm sorry. 
he was supposed to send it to me. We talked about it when he was here with the guys for because the prices changed from the quote that we already had because I showed him what I had. And he said that they had went up a little, so he was supposed to be sending me a new one. Uh, fall cleanup date. That is October 14th, so not this Saturday, but next Saturday. It's been on the board for about two or three weeks, and on the last two water bills, I just figured we had announced it at the meeting. Uh, trick or treat date. Yep, you guys need to discuss that and decide when you want to have it. The email that I sent out, more than half of the responses I got are having it on Halloween. But Richmond's is the 28th, but I wasn't able to find out when Centerville's or Lynn's are having them. They didn't have the dates for them yet when I called to check. I just found out that that week is fall break. So there's going to be a lot of people gone on the 28th. The Lions Club is having a trunk or treat on Saturday the 28th. And we were really hoping to have trick or treat the same night and kind of encourage more people to do the trunk or tree instead of having so many kids just running loose around town. What so time are you starting? Run loose and maybe they'll take the kitten home with them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're starting that, um, we're doing it from six to nine. So, so we have trick or tree from five to eight. From five to eight, okay. Yeah. Right. So it would be in an hour after you start Right. You'd start an hour after they start trick-or-treating, and then you'd go an hour after right. our trick-or-treat stop. Yeah. That's up to you when you want to have it. 28 is good to me. 28 is fine with me. I figure doing on a, on a Saturday is better than a weekday, sending our kids all jacked up on sugar to school. <laughs> it's like the teachers have to love us. <laughs> a lot of the younger ones, they go to bed <laughs> earlier they do on that side of the plane. Right, yeah. I understand that. Do I hear a motion? That motion we have, trick or treat on the 28th. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. You say a, yay or nay, Lord? No, I, I just, okay. I know the Lord is going to be gone that weekend. But it is what it is. Uh, leaf back schedule starts the 16th and it goes in to mid-December. I heard that on the radio this morning. Yeah. I know they've got a problem with the leaf back and they probably going to end up taking it to Mark Camps to get it fixed. So as soon as that happens, they can start. I'll tell them tomorrow that to let me know when they get it fixed so I can like put a date on the website as, okay. to, as to when it's going to start. Yep. Unfinished business. Storm drains on Hartley Avenue. So about eight months ago, if not longer, um, when they done the construction, we wound up with a lot of runoff during all of that, and the drains are plugged up in those areas between Main and Mill, which is in front of Bob's house. There's a couple of them there where they replaced all that sidewalk, dug it all out. It's full of gravel and dirt in the same way on the mill at Hart Hartley. Kyle had gotten quotes back then about um, getting it backed out. And at that time, I think he had gotten a quote for about $3,000. Um, and then it was, I do believe Shane had mentioned that he was going to reach out to them as far as coal and also the engineering firm at that time. So, I would say that nothing's been heard back on that side. On that side of it, we need to double check on that to see if they're willing to take care of it. If not, then the town is going to have to at some point in time 
get that taken care of, regardless of whether or not we do anything right this minute. I just wanted it back on the table so then we can get new quotes, reach out to Cobalt and also the engineering firm, get another email sent out to them to get this stuff taken care of. So that's Was that engineer doing a walkthrough this month? My understanding, it was supposed to. I know that Cobalt did come in as far as to address the yards or something like that, and they asked for a list. Um, and I know it was mentioned that they was going people were going to be put on the list on these different areas and emailed to them. But when they came came time for a list, the list wasn't available. Well, the list wasn't available. So you could have put just my name on the top, and I'd have walked them around all kinds of stuff. Yeah. So, like I said, it's it's. If there's ever a list, just put my name on it. Yeah. I'll take the email. So, here. as far as on this unfinished business, as far as like with the sewer drains, that's the reason why I wanted to brought back on there. Ultimately, we do not have any up-to-date quotes on that side of it. That's something that we're going to have to reach back out to. But an email is going to have to be sent to the individuals that did the work because um, it was addressed. I do believe it was like eight months ago, approximately would have to look back into that. So just bring it up and we can retable this until next month on the storm drain stuff. Do you want me to call Stu? Nah, either that or I can't. Doesn't matter. Either Don't one. Matter if I can get either. his information and his email, telephone number, all that stuff, I'd be more than happy to reach out to him to I call him tomorrow. Um, I'll leave myself see where we're at with that. meters in the yards so the meters in the yards are going to also coincide with the drains um, there's quite a few anywhere from six to ten meters that have yet still be put in on that side of it so we need to figure out exactly the last conversation I had with Shane was that apparently it's all been signed off on um, same way with the yards, if people still need their yards fixed, um, I want to put it back on the table as far as to make sure that we get the meters up and running that need to be up and running because there's quite a few of them. Um, and then also if there's any yards that still need to be addressed, I know that they did go through and take care of some of them. I've seen it from time to time. Yeah. I do know that Lori mentioned that nobody came by her house on that side of it also. So that would come fix back where I live either. Yep. So I mean I'm there is we need to get another list started and actually write it down. And um, if anybody knows of anybody that has areas that okay. still need to be addressed, then <laughs> please put your name and number down and a brief description so then we can actually get this stuff taken care of on that side of it. So if they're not here, what should they do? Should they write um, on a piece of paper? Just call. Just, off? Yeah, if, if they won't put their name and number, address, um, their issue on that side of it, whether it be the yard or if they're having a meter issue, whatever it may be, you know, just write it down, put it in a drop box. Um, if they want to call up here, they can call up and talk to Trina on that side of it. But, you know, unfortunately, we're going to have to actually start a list. And yeah. even if I need to take... Some time off I'm more than willing to go out and help as far as to get the yards back up where they need to be on that side of it. But you shouldn't. It's part of sitting up there too so I'm yeah, part of the town. I know so. I get it but, but we, have we're, gonna have, we're gonna have to start a new list on that side of it because when the engineer or the cobalt showed up, showed up they asked for a list and yeah. there wasn't one. And there wasn't one. So I apologize on that side of it to everybody, but like I said, we are going to see if we can't get another list on that side of it and get everything taken care of. And don't we pay an attorney? Shouldn't he be sending a letter at this point? She. She, he, she. So once we get a list, then like I said, then we'll have to look at all of that information, you know, to say yes right this minute. I don't think a yes is the answer. We just need to figure out what the problem is and the figure out exactly what, what needs to be done and how what direction we need to head. The engineering firm has been pretty good to work with us, so 
we'll give it. Yeah, we'll, yeah. Oh, one yeah. of us will reach out to them and have a conversation with them and then figure out what direction we need to head on that side. I have a partial list and I asked, I added Jenny Cox and Kathy Finney that's okay. been here the last two or three meetings. You have the drain on Davis and 27 that's... I just wrote names down. This, I don't know who owns, I think it's on right away. <clears throat> I'm not yes. sure which one you're talking about. You I see know, there's uh, a stop sign at Davis and 27. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right over here on the right is one of the main drains right there. Mm -hmm. It's the big ones. Yep. They put landscape fabric over it. Mm -hmm. And it's got the brown hay, whatever they call those things that stop the water and stop the dirt all the way around it to where it's a foot above to where the drain is. Yeah. So, hey, the drain's not working like well, it's supposed to. And I think they told me it was low. Yeah, so and I get that, as, but as far as on those drains, that there is going to be off of our other project, our stormwater project, and which is still going to be the same engineering firm, but it's a different contractor. Yeah. And like I said, well, I've got it wrote down here, so we'll reach out when we talk to. I mean, I can firm. understand the bale of the straw around it, but putting that landscaping fabric on it has caught every leaf, every piece yeah. of straw, everything, and it's. They, they have to do that according to the DOT and the state regulations. They have to cover it with, with plants dirt out of it. Well, yeah. as far as to try and keep dirt out of it on yeah. that side of it to a certain time, to a certain time frame. But like okay, I said, well, we'll, I'll get in touch with DOT then. Yeah, so like I said, we'll, we'll start getting this stuff addressed as far as on that side of it. Okay, department reports. Yeah, I got sewer and water and we got the street. You want to go ahead and do street? Yeah. They're not making copies for everybody anymore. I think there was I a... I said something about that two months ago. You got one, didn't you? And he made cop. He definitely made sure he made copies for you. So you have copies. I don't know where they are, if they are still in your mailbox, but I, I know he made copies. I don't have them. Go ahead. I'll get mine on my mailbox. Michael might have them all. I don't know. No, I just have... One one set, but I know Walker made a copy for him. There should be another one. Well, this one's got the quote on it too. For yeah. Oh, I have these quotes. Um, street department patched holes on Main Street, Vine Street, and East North Street. Replace signs at Davis and US 27. Replace signs at Mill and US 27. Fix swings that were tangled up and taken apart at Park. Trimmed up trees on Ross, Imel, Fountain Avenue, Walnut, Cherry, and at the Park. Mulch City Building and trimmed all bushes. Assisted Dave and Walker with replacing flags on US 27. Assisted sewer department with trimming and removing brush around North Lift Station and discharge point. Assisted street department with the discharge. Assisted sewer department with the discharge. Sorry about that. Getting ready for leaf cleanup. Trigger control for backpack is broken. It cost $350 for John Deere to fix it. Uh, the new quote for new blower backpack blower is four fifty eight ninety nine, and that's is from John Deere. The and quote I do have a quote on it. The quote is just for the new one, right? Yes. So I do have a quote here for a new backpack blower. Again? Yeah. I would say repair the one that we have. That makes like the yeah, third or fourth one that we've had. Home. That yeah, makes like the third or fourth one that they've yeah. bought since I started. But I think it was left in the back of a vehicle and it got broke. Not put up where it's supposed to be. On that side of it. So I do hear a motion on what to either fix it or to buy a new one. 
I would make a recommendation to fix it instead of buying another one. Or see if we can just buy the parts instead of having John Deere do it and just buy a new trigger and put it on ourselves possibly. Absolutely, I second that. Party. I think he was second in my Yeah, if that's a motion, I second. As far as <laughs> repairing it, getting it repaired, whether or not or it is repair. us buying the parts and then having our guys put it on. And if they can't do it, then have John Deere fix it for 350 bucks. Okay. Take a vote. All in favor? Aye. Lori? Okay, okay we'll <laughs> fix the old one. Didn't hear my head rattle. No, I heard it. <laughs> You're the only one. <laughs> and that's all I've got from the street department. You want to do the sewer? <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I got them. I'll read them all. So on the sewer department, um, things pretty much stay done. They did discharge out there to lagoons for the month of August. They did one million eight hundred forty-two million gallons. Uh, they did one discharge in September. Um, got the lagoons mowed twice. Trimmed the trees around the north lift station, discharge station, and cleaned up the lift station. They had their IDEM inspection at the lagoons, no major issues found. Um, they installed a new chlorine line at the lagoons. And then they had chemicals delivered. Um, then they went and serviced. It looked like the heaters at the lagoons were tested for winter prep. Um, and then they had gotten, they had, last month they had mentioned about getting stone around that area. Um, Shane said he had done some investigation and said that there should be stone out there. There is no stone out there. I did take some pictures if anybody wants to see it. Um, they're looking at getting stone for around when IDEM come up, comes up. Um, it's all grass right now around those tanks and part of the grass is dead so when it does rain or anything else it just turns to mud. So they were looking at actually doing gravel along their footpaths and then around those tanks and stuff like that. Um, they've gotten some quotes and I'm not 100% on exactly how to add this up, but um, ultimately we can use our dump truck to go get stone and do it ourselves on that side of it. Or a rough estimate is going to be anywhere from $900 to $1,000 for all of the stone and it's roughly 10 ton per inch, 4 inches, so you're looking at about 40 ton total on that side of it between two different types of stone, what they're looking at doing. And would they have to still move it and place it? So that, yes, they, they would do all of the, so if they had it triaxled in, um, and they didn't write down on, it would come up for 73's, $20 and 14 cents per ton. Um, and then same thing for nines on that side of it. Um, with bare paving doing it, I guess per load is about $40 cheaper per load because they have a triaxle instead of whatever the other ones are on that side of it. So if we have them truck it in, Barrett do it, or any of them do it, B and B is 125 a load. Dare is 120. Durex is $90 a load. But then once it breaks down, Barrett is like $40 per load because they have a bigger truck and it'd be less trucks. And that is still paying for the ground. Correct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But it estimated anywhere from 900 to 1,000 dollars for out there at the lagoons to. That's where they do all their testing, and not that a lot of chlorine is spilled, but a little drop of chlorine, it literally could does kill the grass right there. Well, I mean, they don't they don't get dinged by IDEM real bad, but that is one of the things, and that's one thing that um, I can't remember if it was Mike or Doug. One of them said that it would be a good idea to go ahead and get gravel put all the way Doug. around there. Doug, it was Doug. Uh, Doug, as far as going ahead and getting gravel put all the way around there. Going to make it look better, plus it's going to make it safer to walk on. And that would come out of sewer. And that would come out of sewer. Questions? Yeah. Uh, 
questions, thoughts? I thought they were just doing around the lagoon. I thought that was nah, I, that's what I thought too, but it wasn't. There's already gravel around there as far as it's got grass grown up too, but this is just around yeah, the tanks or the chemical sheds and the tanks. chemical shed yeah. and tanks and stuff like that. So if our guys hauled gravel, they could probably maneuver it easier with the small dump truck. I would probably say so on that side of it. I mean, as far or as... Are just going to come and dump it and we spread it? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Which would be anywhere from 900 to 1,000 ultimately if we don't have their trucking fee. We would probably wind up knowing with the number of loads that our dump truck on that side of it, it'd probably wind up costing us more with yeah, their time true. on that side of it. So I think yeah. cost factor wise, I think it'd be better off for to have them Barrett. have um, Barrett go ahead and truck it in on that that side of it. Right. So. Go ahead and make a motion. I'll make a motion that we go ahead and get stone out there the lagoons around the chemical shed and the tanks. And bear hall. Yeah, Pat Bear Hall. Do I hear a second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And uh, still on the sewer part. Um, the only thing left would be to look at a new computer or laptop um, needed for David as far as on that side. They're just using the one right now. On no, they side. have two. They do have two. There's two computers back there. Oh. And that's why, I mean, I don't know if Kyle wants is saying that the one is his computer yeah. and the, the two have to share the other one. But right. there's two computers back there. There's three of them. They don't spend that much time on the computer. Right. Do they really need three computers? If there's two computers back there, then I don't see in the need for it on that side of it. So, because we got Chase one first, and yeah. then it was maybe the next year that we got the second one. Hmm. So, I mean, I agree. If you want to get them one, that's I don't have a problem with it because it'll be water and sewer, but. There is two com desktop computers there's back there. Two desktop computers back there, then you know, they, they take turns as far as on that side of it, because it's not like they got a lot of emails and stuff like that on that side of it. Right. I mean, if they were spending four plus hours a day, each one of them, right. at the computer doing stuff, then it would be justified. But. Right. Yep. No, I agree. I would put it on that. So. <laughs> pricing on that right there. Okay. Uh, the water department moved the plant twice, got hydrants GPS complete, also GPS the meter pits that were not done in the central drive. Annual testing done and sent to HML along with well test for triad. Finished flushing hydrants. 23 was left and got the flow of hydrants, gallon per minute, 20,770 gallons were flushed. Backwashed 22,000 gallons this month. Water tower overflow, overflow spout taken apart and cleaned. Water truck washed and decals put on the truck. Skate system down half the month working with Georgie Booth on quote, new cylinder holders put in a water plant, quotes for meter replacement and fix. Quote for a yeah. no, quote for a hundred and three water meter move and replaced on pages that, behind. That's gonna be a water street um, apartment or it's gonna be the building one oh three. So Mike or Doug? Doug. Doug is the one that was looking yeah, at that. Doug is the were. one that, that was with him. So they went out there to 103 to look at those there. Um, they are inside 
and they still have the old meters on them. They're not accessible by the town employees to be able to read them or update them with the new meters. Um, they've gotten quotes as far as per Doug's request as far as to move the meter pits out meter pit outside. Um, they did get quotes. They reached out to Bader. On. Triple J and then also Reynolds. Um, Triple J came in and quoted and then Bader gave a quote also. Do you have it? So anyways, um, in order to move it back outside to where it needs to be to have accessibility, they're going to have to bore and the town employees do not do that so it would be hired out. Bader came in with a, a price of $2,304.95, Triple J gave a price of $3,136. Um, and that is to get everything outside as far as on the boring side of it. We have pricing as far as we're gonna have to do a new meter pit, sand, gravel, the lid, extension, and then actually we're gonna have to buy two meters, two readers, all of that. Um, Approximate price is right at about $4,500 for everything. Our guys will be assisted with um, Doug as far as hooking everything up on that side of it. So this is something that probably should have been done and that has not been done. And unfortunately the town is going to have to get it taken care of. And that was in the engineering quote. That part I've, I've requested as far as the um, contract, as far as what they were supposed to be doing on that side of it. How many meters are we talking about? Um, so All right now, I think... All the meters were supposed to be moved outside. Huh? All the meters were supposed to be moved outside. Yeah. And 103 isn't the only one that's not it, It's been not there. You've got the... Post office. Yeah, post office. There's quite a few of them. Street. So right now on this one here, in order to fix it... They do manual, there's still ones that they have to manual read even though yeah. they're not supposed to have to. Right. So this is something, this is still going back to the storm drains and stuff like that on that side of it. At the 101, how many meters are we talked about? I'm not exactly for sure on the exact total, um, but I think it's anywhere from six to ten of them. That's what I'm saying. $4,500 a pop or? No, 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 no. Some of them are cheaper, so, right? Yeah, so on some of them we just need to put in meters on that as far and then some of them we just need to do the radio heads on that and then um but on this one here this is the hopefully the biggest one yeah. on that side of it um, this is moving it outside because we do not have access to it and the town has to oh, have I access understand. to those um and unfortunately, we're at a spot right now as far as that it has to be taken care of, and we need to, I feel we need to get it taken care of on that side of it. Well, once again, if you don't have access to it, how do you read it? It's got a touch That's, read on the outside of the building. That one doesn't. So, they, they have gotten access to it, but as far as full-time access, we have to have full-time access because we have one up over here too that we actually have a key on that side yeah, same I way just with them. make sure that it, they're paying their water bill you know right I mean? oh yeah right <laughs> yeah yep so but like i said it, it is to get it updated as far as with the new meters get it outside to work because if anything happens to it we've got to be able to access it on that side of it yeah, so, right now if they're not home we can't get to it. right you can't get to it so right now you're looking at an approximate because there's 
on this quote there is, so in other words, an extra large pit or a regular pit and they can put two in it. Ultimately, if they go with a regular pit, it is going to be cheaper. So, but the approximate price right now is about $4,500. Yeah, please don't put two meters in a pit again. That's well, it's two. I mean, well, there's like five pits that have two meters on. No. Yeah. I'm just saying from experience. Yeah. Bad. Well, as far as so it's an apartment building for that, and there, as far as the road being there, where it has to go, there is not enough space to do yeah. two, two pits. pits on that <clears throat> side of it. So that's the reason why they have two, and this is per. The guy that actually is over our water department is what he is recommending in that area. As long as it's going into the same place, that's fine. It is, yes. On that, yes. No, it's it's not like, I think yeah. it was yours, wasn't it? Or somebody, yeah, I know somebody had two of them in it and they got switched. They got switched yeah, on that the side. Engineer, the bad. engineers wrote the wrong numbers on the paper. That's how yeah. that happened. You know, so. Because there was another pit that was the same way. No. Either way, it was a mess. Mm -hmm. I agree. Okay. Call for a motion, Steve. Do I hear a motion to get this done? Or <laughs> further discussion? Or? Clear as mud to me. Yeah. I'll, make, I'll, make, I'll make a motion that they go ahead and get it set up for Bader to come in and do the underground work as far as to where our guys can turn around and go back and actually put the pit in, put the meter pits or the meters, get everything hooked up on that side. And the approximate price, like I said, is about $4,500. Okay. We got a motion. motion. I second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 There was a lot of them before we did this project that they were in the house. Yeah. Don't ask me why. Yeah. The same with Tony Foster's, the garage. His was inside the building. But Chase took that one out. Yeah. It's actually very common. I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah. But no, Richmond had this a huge issue. I worked for the water company for four and a half years. It was yeah. huge. The issue yeah. was huge. Yeah. All those old buildings downtown, they were all inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first time the gas man just came in my apartment to read the gas meter, I about lost my mind. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing that he has supplied quotes for is um, replacement. The town, as of right now, does not have any extra water meters. Yes, no. Um, not enough. Okay. And not I... Enough. I'm pretty sure the count that I was told the first time I asked was wrong. So I don't think yeah. there's yeah. as many 5 eighths, which is what most of them have. Correct. There is. I don't any, think there's as many of them as what I was told. They're still waiting on to find out exactly because they still don't have the prints for the system on that side to say, you know, so they know who has 5 eighths, who has 3 quarter. Seven eighths, one inch. They should all be five eighths except for one inch to two inch yeah. and the four inch. But they're waiting the on all that, center. but they would like to go ahead and have at least ten on hand is what they're asking mm -hmm. for. Um, and each price on the five eighths with the six foot antenna, they're three hundred and thirty seven dollars and fourteen cents. Yeah. yeah. Per meter. Five eighths. And that's with the radio head. And then, um, so, and then there, there's like three parts to a meter. There's the actual meter, there's a bottom part of it, then there's a radio head on that side of it. But like I said, they would like to have at least ten of them on hand. Doug and, and Mike. Like complete meter. Complete meters on Doug that. and Mike, the operators, said that you should have ten of everything. Right. 
So in other words, I mean, you could be looking at also as far as the just the head and the antenna only. Um, they they're going to need at least four of those. That is two hundred and ninety five dollars and thirty eight cents. Um, so the museum, it looks like they need a four inch. Yeah, on that side of it, and it's ordered. So two of it, there's three meters back there. Um, two of them was taken care of. The third one was not. In order to take care of that one, is going to be another two hundred and seventy dollars and seventy seven cents. So the total. There's like five different quotes there. How are we supposed to know what it, what's what? That's that's what I was asking. Okay. That's the actual five eighths, three fourths meters with the six foot antenna, 337, four feet. Yeah, and then when you go to the next page, it's kind of like if you do this, we don't need to do that. So, this is on the one that you're talking that. about. This one here, Lori. This is on the meter pits as far as so like if we go with this, oh, you're those looking are the at meters, those are the pits. This is the pits for over there at 103. That we were talking about. This has to do with the pits, so they were given. So in other words, if they go with the extra large one, the 24 by 36. That's the price on it, and if they go with the 18 inch extra heavy, that's the price on it. So it's it's either or on that side of it because it is a driveway area. Not explained very well, in my opinion. So you're looking at, as far as on the quote, for the spare meters, heads complete ones, plus then the four additional heads and antennas, and then the also the one for up there at the museum, you're looking at $4,823.69. Doesn't make any difference if we do it this year or next year, does it? No, because it doesn't. It's not. Doesn't affect the budget. Okay. I 
make a motion that we purchase the extra meters, parts, and all as needed. Do I hear a second? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Still have your voices heard. I'll explain it to you afterwards on that side. Having an exhaust fan installation quoted for the chlorine room at the plant. Did you get it? No, he's having it done. So those are things to do, projects. <clears throat> Still working with Bob on the quote for the SCADA system. Finish locates at meter pits on GPS. Find all curb stops and note ones that don't have them paint as, and don't have them painted them as well. Things with meter issues and replacement costs are still being found and worked on. And that is all of the work. Police report, uh, see attached monthly report, seven cases drawn with two involvement cases in county cases. Completed firearms rifle handgun qualification, two hours, completed force on force training, six hours, getting ready to start handlers course terror and and I admit October week long training Rebel and Petrie for the dogs they're working with. Um, both car radios installed work like working ready new system. Explorer issues fixed, getting ready to hook up base radio and office, getting ready to install kennel and explorer. Anything else? Okay. All right. Well, that's it. Yep. As far as the department reports. Visitors form. <coughs> Who's first? I'll go first. And I swear I wasn't here to complain at all. Yeah. I appreciate the street signs, really appreciate those. Been asking for them for a long time. But then I hear our guys install them. And then I hear our guys are doing these meter pits. Mm -hmm. and, and we have to get stuff taken care of. I know you have to get it and taken that, care of. What? But are we going to be able to go back on the engineering firm on this? That's I mean, who dropped the ball? Who signed? For I, pit pits I, I, I that weren't dug and meters that weren't put in. I have no clue. I have no clue. Well, that signature somewhere, that sure would be nice for the public to know who was the one that signed off on the ones that weren't done. Um, I guess I need to get hold of the DOT to get that drain fixed down there at Davison 27. Uh, no, uh, I'll do it. I'll take a look at it as far as that. And those ones I reach out I mean, to. It, just common sense tells you if you put a drain down here and you build everything up around it, it's not going to drain. Right. No. I'll and I get it. That. It's my basement that gets flooded, so that's why I get to say something. Yeah. No, I'm um, Yeah, appreciate that. It's going to tell Carrie, appreciate him. If he needs anything for that dog since his barn burnt down, all he's got to do is say the word. The town will help him with anything he needs. I didn't know if he had dog food in there or anything like that. Um, the alert system. Carrie touched on it last month. Gave you guys paperwork on it. I don't know if you checked into that or not. But I don't understand why we need to pay, <clears throat> I, I don't know what it was, how much it was, but when we already seem to have a system in place, I mean, if I can get a text that the clerk's office is closed on a Saturday, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not saying I don't want that text, I'm just saying why can't we tie these two systems together? Why can't Carrie have access to it so if there's an emergency, 
something like that. Yep. Uh, I, I, we am, can, I am an admin on that one. This one's more designed for like, I hate using Lynn as a, as a thing, but they had that active shooter a few years yeah. ago. And if, I won't have access to get to a computer, log in and app. I can go on an app with that and put what I need out right then and there. Yeah. Well, I didn't know if you had access to it or not. I think what Wes is the fire chief think he should probably have access to it. You know, until we get something installed, till we get something going. I mean, if it, just like say if there's a fire somewhere or something like that, there's explosives, there's tanner, you know, you never know. So it'd be nice if they could get access to that. And not since we're uh, are we paying for the for the system we're using now as far the as website? Yeah, what you're putting yeah, I have I have given the login and showed how to post an alert to the water guys okay. and carry. Okay. Okay, that's good. So that's something to look into as far as Yeah, I mean I don't to see do. I don't we don't have if we've got this in place and we can learn how to use it and it's there, there's no sense in paying for another one. Right. right. You know what I mean? Because if I'm getting a text and an email, the only other thing the app's going to give me is what to call. I'm not going to answer it anyhow. Right. You know what yep. I mean? So, um, but I really do appreciate the signs. Um, it just bothers me that we have to pay for it. You know what I mean? I feel like the ball was dropped somewhere along the line. I get it's a big project, but didn't we pay somebody to kind of oversee this? You know what I mean? Or did, we just, let, or did yeah. we just let the engineering firms... Did we pay the engineering firm and they were supposed to look over that part? I do not know. That's what I'm looking into. Yeah, okay. So, uh, I trust you. So, yeah, so they had an overseer here on yeah. the site. Who? Cool. At this point, I do not know. You know, I, know if I knew who it was, I'd tell you. But I mean, this is just as far as us up here tonight did is. You say you know with, with the water situation. The way it turned out, the head guy from the company, the water installation firm was fired. They brought on three different crews, and that's where information got lost. Was when it's it got to be there three somewhere. Three different crews. Right, and it's just looking, I mean, that's yeah. what I'm starting to look into. Wow. What a mess. I didn't realize that was such a Wow. And we're the ones that got screwed in this story. They're sitting here holding the bag. And as we're paying for it, you know what I mean? We'll figure it out. I know. I know you'll get to the bottom of it, but we need, this is what attorneys are paid for. You know what I mean? Yep. Let them go and turn them loose on. Because it's, um, what's it been, a year? A when was the last now. check written? Yeah, it's been a while. You know what I mean? And why isn't somebody, why isn't everybody up the engineering firm when they walk through here, when they did their walkthrough? How could we not have a list of the properties? You know what I mean? If I would have known, you know, I could have got a list together like that. It's, it's, it's not hard. It's not hard. I assure you we're looking into it now I, on I, that I, side I, of it. So like I, I said, did. if anybody has any concerns or anything else like that, Please uh, do it as a Dropbox or call up to the clerk and or, you know you send write it email? down. Yeah, email would be great because okay. I, I get those also. So, uh, so, okay. we'll just, so I'm going to put that out on the Fountain City side. Okay, yeah, that'd yeah, be good. Then have them get a hold yep. of it. Uh, yep. Can I get a, a? You got to. Have, I didn't bring anything to write with the trick or treat times mm, and the uh, cleanup so. when it's going to be, and I'll go ahead and put that in there too. Yeah, I'll get that before you take off. When the meeting's over, I'll make sure it's all wrote down for you, David. All right. You, okay. you can text it to me if you want. Okay. Yeah, I'll take yeah. off. Yep, I'm okay. Gonna, I'll get it to you, David. Go. I appreciate it. Yep, thank, thank you. you. Who's next? Get my head. Uh, he jumped <laughs> up from behind. Uh, Do you need more paper? <laughs> Me again, the oldest high school student Northeastern, representing the uh, community service class. Um, these kids want to do some added work in the park besides the memorial area, and they fired this list off this morning. And I know Shane got a copy, um, and you all have one now too. Looking for any materials we might get help with, paint and brushes. 
Um, have you reached out to Lowe's? Not yet. Lowe's offer assistance um, for stuff like that. And uh, I just, I can't remember. You just got to get a little manager and he'll direct you what you need to do to apply for that. And okay. I know as far as on two items on this, as far as repairing playground equipment, I do know that my understanding is that there is new seats back there at the garage and then the, this tether ball, I do believe that we have two of them back there also. Okay. So we definitely can check into as far as get those available. Um, I've got the hand tools to yeah. The Girl Scouts got the seats, but yes. Chase was supposed to install them. Okay. But, but they haven't been installed yet. Them. You know, so as far as I can check with them, as far as getting those out to there, um, as far as re repainting, do, does the town have any money in the budget for the parks to be able to buy some paint? Your budget is so tight, there ain't any extra money yeah. anywhere. Can I use my LLC for anything? Or is it just for small assistance? You can count on me. As far as the donation, you tell me what you want. I'll be more than happy to go buy it for you. Okay. Do you know how many gallons of paint we're looking at? They might have some paint back in the back, so you okay. might want to check this. Yeah, maybe one or two gallons per shelter or something like that. I honestly don't know. Yeah. But, um, yeah, let me and Mike know. Let we'll Kyle might, there might be some paint in the back. They might have some back there, Kyle just have to look. Because is not even a year old. Right. I don't think that's going to probably Maybe just wipe it down or something like that. I'll shake a few trees from mm -hmm. Carrie's recommendation. Um, Maybe, Maybe fall break we could get those equipment items and yep. get them thrown. Okay, yep. we'll shoot for that. I'll reach out to Joanna at the coffin house okay because we have a lot of school groups that use the park for lunch to see if there's anything we can do as a monetary donation or something okay. towards that thank you thank you i guess it's my turn <laughs> All right, so I guess I'm here wearing a couple different hats tonight. <laughs> so first, um, with the Lions Club, um, we are doing our trunk or treat, um, and we invite the whole town to come and sign up for that. Um, and a big thanks for Levi Coffin Days. It was great. We thought it was a really good success. Um, I thought the parade went awesome. Not to toot my own horn, but I thought it was pretty great. <laughs> um, thanks to the police force, you all helped us tremendously. Um, we are accepting any um, recommendations for next year, things that you liked, didn't like, want to see, don't want to see. You know, just get with me. Um, I'm already starting to work on next year's coffin days to make it bigger and better. So um, I'm going to switch hats. Now for the coffin house, um, it is school season. Um, so we have tons of field trips starting to come in. I think this month is supposed to be our busiest month since the Interpretive Center opened in 2016. Um, so we'll have lots of school buses coming in, leaving. Um, we try to make sure that they're not blocking 27. They're not blocking the road going through our parking lot. Um, and then they do use the park and the meeting house um, for their lunches. So sometimes they'll walk back and forth. Just a heads up, you see a bunch of kids <laughs> walking around, that's what it is. Um, and then this Saturday, we're starting um, our program up again um, for the first Saturday of the month during the fall, winter months. We do a life in an early Indiana home program for children. Um, so we take them through the house, um, teach them what it was like to live in a, a home during that time, chores they would do, school stuff like that. So we invite um, the kids in the community to join in on that program as well. And then our cemetery tour, um, October the 21st, um, that is the second and the last tour of the year that we'll do of the cemetery. Um, that will be um, done on the um, African Americans that are buried there. So we invite everyone to come for that as well. And then for the um, Ford Fountain City, the town committee, um, 
we have that meeting on Thursday, this Thursday, at Pizza King at 6.30. We invite anyone and everyone to join in with that as well. And I think that's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody? Next. So my question is, um, the issue that I came in last month with, with has not been addressed. The reimbursement, um, I've gotten no information back from anybody if it's been investigated or it's been checked into. Nothing. Good. So as far as per the ordinances that are set up, you know, as I touched on briefly at last yeah. time on that side of it, the town has ownership from the treatment plant, all the water, all the lines going up to that septic tank. The town owns the septic tank. Anything from the septic tank to the house is the homeowner's responsibility. Except that, and I'm gonna bring this up again, just like I did last time, mm -hmm. that septic was not put in by us. That septic was put in by the company that you guys contracted to put in the new septic system. Mm -hmm. They did not hook it up correctly okay. to the house lines. Okay. Now, that's not my responsibility because we didn't put in the septic. They did. All right? If they're responsible for putting it in, that means that they're responsible for putting it in correctly. They did not. She's got a line that comes yeah, from the kitchen and then the new bathroom. Yeah. You know, as far as so, it has worked for. 25 years and then the no, no, no. Is done. Now, I, and then you now asked we me? have an issue. No. <laughs> now, now, hold on a minute. As far as per the ordinances. Hold, hold. Okay, now look. Look, I, I was very patient last time. I was, you know, I kept kept my temper, nothing. You know, I, I didn't. The bathroom is in the same place that it was always in. Nothing has been moved, nothing has been changed except for the toilet and the bathtub. Okay? It has nothing to do with that. And I said to you specifically, yes, the whole time that we've lived there, we've had issues. However, we associated that with the age of the bathroom, not with a problem. The problem really, it, you know, really came to light when we had, you know, when I redid the bathroom change the size of the toilet. That's when the problem came to light. Because it wasn't enough of a problem previously for it to show itself. But it, and, and I've had more than one person, more than one person who has told me, yes, when you change the size of the toilet because of the different amount of water going through the pipe that if there is a problem that's when you're going to see it I don't want to hold yeah. okay however the bottom line is we didn't put that septic in there the town of Fountain City put that septic in there and it was not hooked up properly when it was done I did, I'm not a plumber, so I'm just reading off of what our ordinances state as far as what Mr. Our Clark is. looked at the diagram yeah. that was that yeah. he, he looked at it. He yeah. can see exactly what the problem is. They did not tie in the two the correct line from the kitchen and the bathroom should have been tied in together, just one line going into the septic. feasible without getting under the house and yeah I have no clue on that side of it so somebody was supposed said, to so be investigating that somebody was supposed to be checking into it and nobody did apparently in the last month so I stayed Mr. Mr. Schroyer said yeah, to me yeah. we're gonna check into this okay but that didn't happen 
So I if I hadn't it. come if I hadn't come in here tonight, mm -hmm. if I had just waited to hear something, then nothing would have been done again for another thirty days. Nice. Now how do you, how how can you make a decision with nothing to base it on? I base it off of as far as what the paperwork states, as far as what our responsibility is and what the homeowner's responsibility again, is. Again, it comes down to who put that in there. I didn't put it in. The town of Fountain City is responsible for putting that septic system in. Who's to say that when the town put it in and at some point in time someone else come back along and tied it in the second one? Excuse me, I've lived there for just, over 30 years. There has been no work done, so. period, on that septic except for when it was put in. So please don't say something like that because you know that's not true. I have no clue. Well, considering that I've already, considering that I told you last time that there's been no work done. Okay. So I'm just stating what the ordinance states as far as what is the town's responsibility and because I just had to have mine yield out because there was a crust on the end of it. So do I go back on the town? No, I didn't. I went ahead and took care of it because I Your situation is what, slightly different than mine. Okay. Is it not? I paid $200. Is your situation I not, not little, different? I'm not a plumber. I am okay, not a plumber. Okay, but here's what I'm saying to you. This situation is not the same. You're comparing apples and oranges. This yeah. was not tied in correctly to begin with. At the very beginning, when they put it in. I was talking to Kyle about it. He's, they think that this pipe coming out of their bathroom is too close to the wall. And not letting the stuff dump. If they can go in there and cut that pipe off. I mean, it's inside the tank, so I mean, if they want to cut the pipe off, cut it back and let them cut it back because it's no different than like with David's. As far as when they went in there and they had to have theirs pumped, it was up against the wall and then also the the pipe, the toilet up. paper, and everything else that was coming through there had plugged it up. So yeah. once they cleaned it all up, and like I said, there was just a short distance in there. So if it's just a simple cutting the pipe back, I just have them cut the pipe back just a little bit, see if that fixes it. That'd be up to Kyle, wouldn't it? No. Kyle's over streets. Kyle's had nothing to do with the sewer or water. Okay. So we get, if the town does that, just cuts that pipe off. But I know that they've got to grab it somehow to get it out of the tank. Yeah. And you don't want that down in there. Yeah, I, I'm not a plumber, so as far as on yeah. that side of it, so. So we would have to dig it up? No. No. No? No, I think you can see it from the manhole going into the tank. Because I know when they put mine in, <coughs> They actually came into the house and ran water at each station to make sure it was flowing through one pipe into the septic tank. And there was a guy inside and there was a guy outside and I even got a bucket of water and dumped down where the washing machine dumped at. So that they would know that Everything's going through that one pipe. Because my house on the old system was two 36 inch drain standing up and down and hooked together for the septic tank. And there's three lines going into the first one. And they've done whatever they did on the outside to combine them all. I don't know why they missed that they, step with mine. Because I think they, like any contractor, they get messed up. Well, but, you know, but the problem is that you know they might they messed it up and they walked away, and yeah. I'm left with the after effects. Do we even know who did that? Who did that septic system back in the '80s? 
No, I, I don't. It was actually, remember. mine was put in in 91 or 92. I know mean, we started that process in the, I was thinking it was the 80s. It was. Because we couldn't put, we could not build on that lot until the septic was in and we moved in in 88. Because the state, we couldn't get funded unless it was a new and innovative idea. And that's when we come up with the lagoons and the septic tank as the treatment plants per house. I don't even know if the town has any records that goes back that far. Yeah, I imagine that company's out of business. But you're not going to get them to do anything. Anyway, the only one so. that know anything about it's wrong. So. What? The only, thing, only person that would know anything about it is wrong. Yep. Well, he, yeah, because Ron was working and Bob. Of course, Bob's yeah. wrong. So, yeah, Ron would be the only one left that might know who, um, who did that. But regardless, they're not going to fix anything. Would, could we get Walker and David to cut that pipe off? You would have to talk to them about that. Walker is water? They're both. You want Walker to do the septic? Yeah. They're both water, and neither one of them has a title yet as far as who's what. Yeah. They're both doing it. I'd want two men there regardless. No offense to the two gentlemen that have already been out to my house. I have no, I have nothing against them whatsoever. They have, they're not familiar at all with the sewer. I'm just... And, and I'm not, I, I understand, I'm, I'm I understand going. what you're trying to do, I do. I'm going by what you told me and showed me that the pipe is too close to the wall and that's what you've been told. Well, well right. yes, but there's there's okay. a double problem there. There's a double problem there and the double problem being the pipe, okay, that we were already told about from the very beginning. Chase is the one that, that, that discovered that, okay. Now the second problem, the problem that, that is the biggest problem is that it's not properly draining you into the sewer system. It's not properly draining in because it's not properly hooked up. So everything settles over time, earth moves, yeah. all of that stuff, you know, and our ordinance are broke yeah, up as far right. as what is the town's responsibility and what is the homeowner's responsibility. Well, sir, I'll list. just call a lawyer and we'll go from there. You because you guys owe me $320 that it cost me to get it cleaned out, number one. And number two, it needs to be put together properly. Something needs to be done or it's not going to work properly, ever. So I'm sorry if you don't agree with me. But you all know that it wasn't done right to begin with. And that had nothing to do with us. Because we didn't ask for a new sewer system. We, it, was, it was told to us. We had no choice. I do believe it was mandated by the state. Yeah. Irregardless, it wasn't our, our choice. Like I said, I will be talking to a lawyer. Next. I don't have anything. I just came to listen. <laughs> <laughs> I won't make your life harder today. Yeah, you haven't yet at all, so I'm just glad you're here. Yeah. Just come for the free entertainment. <laughs>
if there's no other visitors, then we're ready for claims yeah. Yeah. to yeah. adjourn. Please. <coughs> approval of claims and payments. I'll make the motion to approve claims and payments. Do I hear a second? I'm on my second. You ain't second in it all day. Aye. Okay. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. Do I hear a motion for adjournment? You want to do that, Lori? Yep. I make a motion we adjourn. I'll second that. Okay, hold on. Turn on. No, I was saying I was making a motion oh. to adjourn. <laughs> all in favor? All in favor? Aye. 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 Have a good night.